Our school is located in Spadafora, a lovely sea village near Messina, in the northeast of Sicily. Spadafora is a charming village, rich in history and traditions, as it's shown by its beautiful castle. As we are on the Tyrrhenian coast every day, we are lucky to enjoy an amazing view of the Aeolian Islands. In front of the entrance of our school, we can find a bench with Dante Alighieri and some of his famous lines from his writing. It was made because Dante was one of the most important Italian poets. In front of the bench, there is our school. Immediately after you enter it, you can see the secretariat where the students go to ask for information. It's practical because of the kind employee. Hi guys, we are here to talk about our school, the high school Galileo Galilei. It is in a very big school. There are two floors and it's got about 500 students. The age of the students is between 14 and 18. Our school has got three courses, scientific, applied science and one for languages. Every course has its specific subjects. The most important ones of the scientific are math, chemistry, physics and Latin. They are similar to the subjects of applied science, but ICT replaces Latin. In the school there are three labs one for science and math, one for ICT, and one for languages. For applied science, there is an after-lessons activity between 1 and 2 p.m. called STEM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. To attend STEM, students go to the Science and Physics Lab and they do practical activities. In the course of languages, the principal subjects are English, Spanish, and French. There is an after-lessons activity also for this course, a lab of German. Upstairs of school there is a sustainable irrigation system that waters the orange tree with the recycled water. Stone master sensors are used and sustainability is carried out due to the union between computer science and the environment. This is our playground. During PE lessons we come here to play different sports like football, volleyball, basketball or other games. As it is a big space we use it for our assemblies. When it is raining or very cold outside, we use our indoor gym. It is in the underground floor of the school and there are some tools and some tables to play table tennis and table football. This is the headmistress room that she uses when she comes to visit us. On the left there are many shelves with some medals and caps won by the students during sport competition. Near there is a safety box where there are some important documents. In the middle of the room there is the headmistress desk and on the right there is a big sofa. Our school's science lab is on the first floor too. It's spacious and it has three rows of desks with electrical outlets. There is also a whiteboard that is next to a row of desks which are used to show the experiments to the students. We have many instruments that we can use for different types of observations and experiments, such as dynamometers, microscopes, scales, rulers, flasks, cylinders, water pumps, a guideway and heating plates. We also have a fume extraction plant that we use if we do an experiment that produces gas. This is our linguistic lab. Here the language teachers take their lessons with the help of some technological device, such as headphones, computers and other tools to interact with the teachers. In our school there is a computer lab. It's on the first floor. There are a lot of computers and a digital board. When we are in the lab, we have to follow some rules. For example, we must bring uh, food or drink with us. When a teacher wants to do the lesson in the lab, he has to book it first. All students have assigned seats because we are responsible for them ourselves. <laughs> 